my dear people here we have a very interesting problem and a simple one at the same time <laughs> as usual look at this in section 1 the liquid that's entering the tank has a density of 900 kilogram per meter cube whereas the density of the liquid entering pipe 2 in section 2 is only 850 kilogram per meter cube what it means they are two completely different liquids that are entering the tank they get mixed completely in the tank and then a uh, third liquid of a different density goes out uh, through the uh, pipe 3 or section 3 we have been given all the dimensions and we are asked to calculate what would be the volumetric flow rate of the exit what would be the density of the exiting liquid and also what would be the velocity with which the liquid is going to exit the tank this is what we are um, asked to find uh, i've just written the given i've written them in standard form diameter one is 10 centimeter so i've written it as 10 into 10 power minus 2 meter yeah. and then i've written the other ones so how to find the volumetric flow rate 3 that would be the first thing that we are going to take on but it's so very simple do you remember from continuity equation volumetric flow rate in equals the volumetric flow rate out similarly the mass flow rate in equals to the mass flow rate out that is all that we are going to be using yeah so in order to find the exiting volumetric flow rate all that i have to do is just add the two volumetric flow rates that are flowing in and we already know those two so just substitute the numbers we get volumetric flow rate 3 0 0.05 plus 0 0.15 0 0.2 meter cube per second okay now let us find out the uh, density of the liquid that's exiting shall we yeah we know the mass flow rate equals density times the volumetric flow rate yeah so all that i'm now going to do is i'm just going to write the continuity equation as rho 1 v1 dot plus rho 2 v2 dot equals rho 3 v dot 3 or v3 dot yeah so otherwise the mass flow rate in pipe 1 plus the mass flow rate in pipe 2 if we add these two mass flow rate they would equal to the exiting mass flow rate rho 3 times v dot 3 that is all think of it my dear people we know what is rho 1 we know rho 2 we know v dot 1 we also know what is v dot 2 and v dot 3 the only unknown is rho 3 all that we have to do is just substitute the values why is it not working work exactly I get a value for row 3 as 862.5 kilogram per meter cube. Think of it. The density of liquid entering in pipe 1 was 900 and the other pipe was 850. They mix in the tank and the exiting density is 862.5. Wow. Now, you know what i want to ask you something if i change the diameter of one of these pipes do you think the density of the exiting liquid will change huh? <laughs> think of it think of it and you let me know is that okay yeah okay now we have found out volumetric flow rate and the density three now i have to find out what is the exiting velocity c3 now even before i tell you i'm sure you have already found out what is the equation for doing this but anyway i will still 
work on this yeah to find c3 i'm just going to use the volumetric flow rate 3 equals a3 times c3 which equals 0.2 because that is what we have already found out in equation 1 all that i'm going to do now is just substitute all the values that we have to find c3 c3 equals v dot 3 is 0.2 divided by a3 a3 is nothing but pi by 4 d3 square where d3 is the diameter of pipe 3 if i substitute all the values i get the value to be 15.06 meters per second otherwise it just means that the velocity with which the third fluid is going to come out is 15.06 meters per second this problem is so very simple is it not what do you think